and welcome to In the Kitchen with Mary Mack. Today's recipe is apple cider donut cake, and this is as good as it sounds. This, of course, is a part of our Bunt collection. This was a new recipe that I tried out in my brand new, beautiful enameled Bunt pan that I got for Christmas. It's a such a nice pan. It's a enamelware pan that is, has like a red coating on it. It was fantastic. Now, my other bunt pan is a glass bunt pan and um, it's a really nice pan but it's always questionable if your cake is going to come out of it so it's given me a lot of scary horrifying moments and I've learned how to spackle up a cake with icing and you know put all the pieces back in so it looks like a cake and hide flaws you know so but this one it released beautifully here is the recipe there's a lot of ingredients for it uh, that you might not have on hand As we go along, I'll give you some tips on those. So you're going to need two cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of oat flour. What oat flour is, is basically ground oatmeal. So it's very easy to make. You just take some oatmeal, either quick oats or old-fashioned oats, not the flavored kind that come in packets, though, people. It's got to be plain oatmeal. And you put it in a food processor or a blender and just chop it up fine, and it turns into oat flour. It's not going to have a very fine texture like flour because you'll still see little bits of the oatmeal in there, but it'll be nice and light and fluffy and kind of cut up, you know. So you'll need uh, one and a half cups of oat flour, one and a half cups of sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of salt. Those are your dry ingredients. Okay. Now for your wet ingredients, you of course need apple cider. It calls for a cup of apple cider. This would probably be a really good recipe for the fall when apples and cider are readily available. However, you can usually find apple cider anymore. So you need one cup of apple cider, three-fourths cup of applesauce. I made my own applesauce. I have a podcast about making applesauce back in my backlog of podcasts. And it doesn't take very long to make, so you can easily whip up some applesauce for yourself, or you can use store-bought applesauce. Three-fourths cup of canola oil, three large eggs, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now, here's a tip when you're making this cake. You want to have your apple cider, your applesauce, and your eggs at room temperature because you don't want to take things straight out of the refrigerator and try to make a cake with them because it adds forever to your baking time, and I'm not even kidding about that. So... Make sure you get your apple cider and applesauce out of the refrigerator and have them on the table coming to room temperature for a while, okay? Now, the topping for this cake is just uh, two tablespoons of melted butter, a fourth cup sugar, and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Here we go. You're going to set your oven to preheat at 350. Now, for your bunt pan, you want to... Grease it really well, making sure you get all of the little nooks and crannies and ridges and places where your cake can stick forever, and then flour it. So after you grease it, you want to put about a fourth cup of flour into it and shake it all around in there and make sure that the flour sticks everywhere it can stick. If it doesn't, I mean, sometimes you don't put enough grease or whatever. Sometimes you get little spots that don't stick. And you can try to go back in there and get them, but that's usually unsuccessful. So please please grease it thoroughly before you flour it. Shake the excess flour out and then you can get ready to make your cake. Now that your pan's ready, you want to get all of your dry ingredients in a large mixing bowl and whisk them together. You want to get another bowl and mix up all your wet ingredients and whisk them together, beating your eggs really well at this stage, okay? You're going to pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and Blend them until just combined. Don't overmix this. You don't want this to be, you know, one of those things you're going to mix it for five minutes. You just want to mix it up until everything is blended together and you really don't have any dry spots in there. You want it to be just combined, well mixed, but not overmixed, okay? Pour the batter into your pan and get it all in there. And even it out a little bit with your uh, with a rubber scraper or whatever, and put it in the oven and bake this for 45 to 50 minutes, 
um, even up to an hour, especially if you, like me, forgot to take your stuff out of the refrigerator and it wasn't at room temperature. So this cake tests with a toothpick. If you poke a toothpick in near the center of the bunt ring, it should come out without wet batter clinging to it. It might have crumbs clinging to it, but it should come out without the uh, wet batter clinging to it. Sometimes when you're baking a bunt cake, when it's coming up, it'll look like it's cracking around the edges or down the center, or I don't know, the top of it'll look terrible. That's okay, because when you flip it over onto the plate, nobody's going to see that. So don't worry about if it splits in the middle or anything like that, it's fine. But you do want to make sure it's baked thoroughly. So if there's any question, keep checking it in different locations with your toothpick. If you come up with batter on it, go to a different spot the next time, okay? And set your oven timer for like three minute increments and keep checking it because when it's done, it'll be done, you know. But like I said, sometimes a bunt cake takes longer to bake, especially if anything is cold. When it's done, you're going to take that out of the oven set the bunt pan on a cooling rack and you want to let that cool for at least 15 minutes in the pan. While it's cooling, mix your fourth cup of sugar and half teaspoon of cinnamon together for the topping, which this was a lot. You could probably go like an eighth cup of sugar and a fourth teaspoon of cinnamon if you don't want to waste it because it really made a lot of topping. Okay. Um, after your cake is cold for 15 minutes flip the bunt pan onto a serving plate and like very carefully take the pan off of it. My fancy new enameled bunt pan popped right up off of that baby. No sticking, nothing. It was fantastic. So I highly recommend it, but I can't remember the name of the pan. <laughs> I didn't write that down on my notes. How silly that was. When I post the episode, I'll try to remember to put the, a link up for the bunt pan. So once you flip it out of the pan onto a plate, what I did, I let it continue to cool, which took probably about another half an hour. So I just took that serving plate and set it on top of my cooling rack and let the bunt pan cool. Once it feels cool enough, it can still be a little bit warm because this isn't like icing. It's not going to melt off. But once it's, you know, it can still be warm, warm to the touch. You can take your uh, butter, melt your butter, and then brush the melted butter all over the cake. And the way I did it, because the butter kind of soaks away quick, so I brushed an area, sprinkled the cinnamon sugar, brushed it, sprinkled the cinnamon sugar, and went around it, and just put cinnamon sugar on it. And then it was ready to serve. And this thing is so good. I mean, it is just delicious. This recipe comes from a website called The View from the Great Island. And it is just a really great recipe. It is, it tastes, I'm not kidding you. It tastes like an apple cider donut. It abs, it does. It tastes like an apple cider donut. It was such a good cake. We ate so much of this cake. It was ridiculous. So this is a good cake to take for a, a, a daytime event or take to work for something, you know, it's not messy traveling wise and it goes together really quick. And um, it's, it's very tasty. Good, great with coffee. So I hope you give it a try. I think you'll really enjoy it. I was excited to try it because I, I love, you know, of course I love bunt recipes, but I love unique cake recipes. And I thought this was a really nice, unique cake recipe. So now you have the, uh, let's see, we have given you the Brazilian orange cake and the tunnel of fudge cake. And now the apple cider donut cake as our bunt collection. So we'll have to look for, boy, we'll have to find more flavors for our fabulous bunt cakes. Maybe we can find a lemon one somewhere. So there you go. There's your apple cider donut cake. I hope you give it a try because it is well worth your time. And make sure to check us out online on Facebook and Instagram at Mary Mac Bakehouse, on Twitter at Mary Mac Podcast, and on our website, MaryMacPodcast.com. Thanks a lot for listening if you did, and if you didn't, too bad for you.